So maybe you're ready to try out Power BI. How do you go about doing that? The free version is included in most Microsoft 365 licenses. The thing that's important to note here is that users on the Power BI free version can create, but they can't share. So this is a good kind of test level if you're interested in it or if you um, are siloed and only need data for your area. You can get a lot of information there, but you just can't share that report with anyone else. So once you get to the place where you know that you and your various users are creating reports that other people need to see, we're in the Power BI Pro level. Uh, so this is an individual license and you can do it as a standalone or it's an already included in your Microsoft 365 E5, A5, G5 license. Users can create and share with other pro users. So this is important. Even if you're not going to create content that needs to be shared out, if you're going to consume content someone else has made, both of you are going to need that Power BI Pro license. Now, let's say you really want those premium features. All right. Well, still individual license um, that can be done as a standalone or if you already have Power BI Pro either as a standalone license or included in your licensing, there's a step up option so you don't have to buy a full Power BI Pro um, or sorry, you don't have to buy a full Power BI Premium license on top of a Pro license. You can get that step up option there. Um, so if you get that in place, users can now create and share with other premium users. Again, like the Power BI Pro model, this is a pay to play. So if you are a premium user and you want to consume premium content, both people need to have that premium license in place. It's not one or the other, no one's broadcasting. If you are interested in a broadcasting version, what that's gonna look like is the capacity license. That's the organization-wide license. It can be a pro or a premium license. All users can consume, but they can't create or share. So um, again, if you know that you're gonna have your entire organization needing to see a report that someone has made, this could be a good option for you. Um, I'll get into the next slide about considerations of when it makes sense to go to the organization-wide versus individual license. Um, but again, keep in mind here that creators would still need to have an individual license for themselves to create that content. The capacity license makes it possible for everyone to consume it, but creators will still need to be licensed individually. Mm -hmm.